Hey Sag, welcome back to the Spirit Font. Let's take a look at your energies for January 2021. Happy New Year's guys. I hope you've started the year off on a good vibration and you're ready to conquer this year and leave 2020 behind, right? <laughs> so guys, just want to let you know that I am offering personal readings. Uh, they are starting from $15 all the way up to $30 on Skype. If you're interested, all of that information is in the description below. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't resonate, please have a look at your sun, moon, rising sign readings here on the channel. Should none of that resonate, just keep searching here on YouTube. I promise you'll find the perfect reading for your current circumstances. Sagittarius, let's get started with your reading, okay? So Sag, um, I was trying to tap into general energies as this is a general reading. I don't like to make it only about love. If something about finances comes through, then you know I'm going to read it and give you that message. But as you can see, slap bang in the middle of your reading, we have the lover's card. So we are clearly talking about a relationship. I don't think you're with your person right now, to be honest. Um, there is definitely a strong connection here, possibly a soulmate. I don't like to guarantee such things on general readings. However, the lover's card does signify a soulmate. That's possibly why you're feeling such a strong connection to this person. But with that eight of cups opening up your reading and then with all of these cards at the bottom being in reverse, I feel like there's an imbalance in your current situation, possibly um, a breakup, a separation or a fight where someone has chosen to turn their back on the other person. Something about this relationship did seem very promising at the beginning, but it just never reached its full potential that's why you've got the eight of cups here the card that comes out of after the eight of cups is the nine of cups and that is the card of wish fulfillment but as you can see we've only got eight cups and there seems to be a cup missing here so i feel like this person was giving you or this relationship was giving you a lot maybe superficially or externally or at the beginning it was fulfilling something but i think it wasn't hitting that real core spot within you when it comes to what you are expecting from a partner possibly this person was a lot of fun they're very enticing very charming very fun to be around like i said but they just aren't the commitment type that's the feeling that I'm getting here, that you were getting the eight cups. Maybe they're really good in bed. They're really nice to be hanging around with um, arm candy almost. But they didn't have that full commitment energy, which I feel you were waiting for. And that is why you had no choice but to turn your back on this person. Turn your back on these eight cups and just go searching for that one cup that will finally give you wish fulfillment. I do feel like it was a hard decision for you to walk away from this person because as I said, there is the lover's energy in this reading, a very strong soul connection. Possibly you guys have met in other lifetimes and when you let, met in this lifetime, it felt like a wish fulfillment at first, but it took some time for you to realize that there was something missing within this person or within what they were willing to give you in this relationship. So yeah, it's taken a lot of strength for you to walk away from them, to put yourself first. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a possible Leo, and that is why these two cards have come out. Or this could indicate that there was a choice in this relationship. Possibly your person had a choice between two lovers. They might have chosen someone else, which made you have no, no choice really, but to walk away. Um, but it has taken strength or it can indicate also that there is a strong connection. And that is why we have the strength coming out with the lovers card. However, I feel like that is a message for some of you Sagittarius. Someone had the choice to choose between two. They didn't choose you. Um, however, I do feel like your person is struggling with this decision. I feel like they might be regretting this decision. 
feel like your person is a player to be honest or or just isn't someone who instantly wants to commit and that is why the nine of pentacles has come out in reverse guys all of your lower card energies have come out in reverse this is a huge indication that there's a major major imbalance in this person something in the energy isn't right even though this person could be a soulmate there might be something about karmic timing possibly with the star being clarified by the world in reverse so guys let me just let you know when i get a card in reverse i always clarify it and 99 percent of the time the card that's in reverse gets clarified by a card that's upright the world came out in reverse to clarify a card that's already in reverse. That's a very strong message to me for the world and the star to come out both reversed. There's some instability, some energy in your person that just doesn't feel right right now, okay? They do see you as a wish fulfillment. They do see the potential of this relationship. But something about their energies right now just isn't correct. And with this world card in reverse, it's a huge sign that there might be some sort of um, divine timing at play here. Where yes, you were meant to meet this person, but possibly you met them at the wrong time. They haven't completed certain cycles in their history. I mean, in their past, sorry. Or they haven't healed certain energies in their past that um, are preventing them from moving forward with you, unfortunately. However, the world and the star, they're major arcana cards. They're powerful cards. And whether it's in reverse or upright, it's still a powerful energy of wish fulfillment. It's not a bad card. It still means that the energy exists and it's going to come. It just means it's unbalanced or a little stagnant or just delayed for some reason. There's definitely a delay in your person. However, they do feel like you've turned your back on them and this is really bothering them. They do know that you've walked away from them and they feel like they've made the wrong decision. Definitely. They feel like they've made the wrong decision and now they are left out in the cold. They are feeling quite neglected by you because you've decided to create some very strong boundaries around yourself. The Five of Pentacles has come out in reverse which signifies to me that this person wants to come out of the cold and come back into the warmth of your relationship. But they're struggling because they're coming up against these very strong boundaries that I feel you had no choice but to create. Because hell, if this person's not going to choose you, why the hell are you going to stick around? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're, you're feeling very strong right now. You're in your Leo energy of being nurturing to yourself, but very powerful as well. You don't take any bullshit. You've got some boundaries around yourself. And your person's feeling neglected, unfortunately. There's an offer that they want to come forward. Possibly they finally want to turn these energies upright with you and start a new cycle where it's a wish fulfillment for you. But it's slow, my love. Um, this person seems to be stuck in their head, stuck in some old cycle, stuck in some energy that I can't pick up on. In fact, let me try and pick up on this energy. Just give me a second. But the Knight of Pentacles is someone who wants to come forward and just possibly offer you something that it seems to be a burden for this person coming forward seems to be burdensome maybe they're stuck in their pride and their ego and they don't want to apologize let's see what's going on with this person oh wow did we not say a wish fulfillment i just want to clarify a little bit further just give me a second guys Okay. Wow. Okay. So your person's struggling with this, the, with the fact that you've walked away from them. Okay. You definitely are a wish fulfillment for them. Wow. Look at that. 
we finally got the nine of cups so they weren't giving you what you were looking for before and this caused some heartbreak they weren't giving you that nine of cups but now they want to because i feel like they were holding back before possibly they were playing some games with you some uh, controlling elements that i'm feeling from these cards they were trying to control the outcome of this relationship instead of just opening their heart and being vulnerable and that's what caused the stagnation okay but you walking away from your person has caused a lot of heartbreak. They're feeling quite conflicted right now because I do feel like there's some sneaky energy in your person and that's why you had to walk away from them. They're feeling very conflicted about how they're going to come forward towards you because maybe they invited a third party into the relationship like I said before. With that decision and that choice between lovers, possibly that's what's happened. And now that you know you can't trust this person, they know that you don't trust them. And they are, they're conflicted because you're walking away, but they don't want you to walk away. And it's become a burden for them. How do I get this person back? So I do feel like they do have an offer for you, but the Knight of Pentacles is still in reverse. They're going to probably rush in a little foolishly and say some things that make you feel like this offer is something that you can't trust. Um, so just be aware of that. There does seem to be some energy of wanting to rush in because they're feeling really neglected by you. And I feel like this heartbreak is just something that they can't stand. But I don't think they understand what kind of person you've turned into. You've created some very strong boundaries around yourself because you are ready for your wish fulfillment and you're no longer taking anybody's crap. So when they do come back, I feel like they're going to be quite intimidated but they're going to give you their best shot, okay? Because they do find you as a wish fulfillment and they do care about you quite a lot. Um, they do feel the soulmate energy with you. But like I said before, they're struggling with their own imbalances. Possibly there's something about divine timing or releasing an old cycle so that they can come forward to you, all right? Wow, look at that at the bottom of the deck, reconciliation, beautiful. So this person does want to reconcile with you because they're in their head about what they've done. They're feeling quite guilty about losing you, about messing the cycle up. The world could also, um, in reverse, could indicate that the person does not want this relationship to end. They don't want the cycle to end, okay? Let's get a few cards to clarify this reading a little bit further before I close off. What is Sagittarius going to be going through? Let's clarify this reading a little bit further. Why is that world in reverse? Wow, okay, so we've got the chariot. Ooh, nice stuff. Bottom of the deck again, five of pentacles, but this time it's upright. So your person does definitely feel like you've locked the door, you've turned your back, and they're hating it, all right? They don't like the fact that you've turned cold on them. But I feel like they caused this themselves, so that's why they're taking a bit of a step back. Like I said, you are in your strength. You are in your queen of cups energy, which means you are focused on yourself. You're focused on manifesting something better, something a little bit more healthy. You're not even looking at this person. That's the feeling that I'm getting from this energy. You're focused on being in your best energy. Whether you're a male or a female, we all possess queen energy, okay? This queen energy that you possess is causing the chariot energy. This is someone wanting, oh my goodness, didn't I say they want to rush in and be a little foolish? Um, yeah, your person's going to be rushing in probably with a very, um, without any strategy. They're just going to come in out of impulse and just tell you, yo, come back to me. And that is what this Knight of Cups is. They're going to try and woo you. It is the Knight of Cups. It is a small offer, like I mentioned before, but it does seem to be genuine. Your person, it feels like they've learned their lesson. They're learning their lessons. They know what they've done wrong. They want to come back to you, but he's still a knight. There's still some growing that needs to be done. That's probably 
why they're going to stumble towards you baffling and unsure about what to say. But just know that it's genuine, okay? Um, use your intuition. Use that Queen of Cups. Maybe cut this person a break. Um, I don't know. Now that I see the lover's card, maybe they did pick someone over you and you're like, hell no, I'm the queen. I'm not going to accept that. You know what's going on here. It's general. I'm not too sure, but I do feel a very genuine a sad genuine energy in your person they feel like they made the wrong decision okay as i say that i pick up the rock bottom card so they're feeling like things are at rock bottom right now it did come out in reverse like all of his other their other cards i don't even want to say that this is a guy i apologize for that but all of their other cards have come out in reverse as well so yeah your person's a little unstable a little out of balance um, maybe they're not seeing a way forward right now because your boundaries are so high but yeah they're at rock bottom and they they're not upright so let's see what that means I hope that this reading is resonating, guys, and is helping you out in some way, okay? Rock bottom reversed. This card is the symbol um, for addiction in all forms. Wow. Subtle or obvious, okay? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results will never provide you with what you desire. Wow, is that what this means? A cycle that just keeps happening and happening and happening. Uh, maybe your person notices this within themselves that they've been in a cycle where maybe they get what they want and then they sabotage it. And now they're at rock bottom because they actually lost a wish fulfillment this time. Okay. Uh, where was I? At this time. Um, at this moment, sorry, there is nowhere else to go and you're fo facing the end of the road. If you fear change, be willing to change. Surrender your wants to a higher power. Ask for truth and allow humility to be your guiding force from within. You will always get what you need. You are only a victim of your perceptions. Wow. Take heart because you can't sink any further. The only way to go from here is up and wondrous things await you. Wow. So yeah, this could be both you and your person where you're feeling like, God damn, this person really did a number on me. I'm at rock bottom. But just understand that everything is happening for a reason. And as you can see, upright and inverse, the rock bottom card has a little bit of a path that's leading in the same direction. So you're not off your path. There might just be a little bit of stagnancy, um, whatever it might be, but it is happening for a reason. The lover's card is here, guys. Give this person some time to grow up, to figure out why their energies keep coming out in reverse. Let them figure themselves out. Turn this night of energies upright so that they can be a little bit more stable and a little bit more trustworthy. But you are on their mind. They do want you back. And I feel like the ball's going to be in your court. So I hope that this reading has helped. If it has, please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, that information will be below. If not, guys, please stay strong and watch out for your yearly readings, which will be coming out sometime this month. Love and light, guys. Thank you.